Happy Sabbath, boys and girls. There was a jogger, and she was out jogging in her neighborhood, and she noticed a big sign tacked to a tree. But what she really noticed was the big black letters that said, Reward, $100. She was curious about that. So she went up to read that sign, and it said, Lost Dog. Did anybody ever lose their pet, their cat, or their dog? I know you did. Lost dog, black and tan, poodle and shepherd mix, flea bitten, missing his left hind leg, no hair on his rump, going blind, too old for tricks, might bite if cornered. Answers to the name Lucky. <laughs> Lucky, the jogger had to chuckle to herself. How could anyone call a cranky old mongrel Lucky? It was a flea-bitten dog, three-legged mangy, nearly blind, old, and dangerous. Lucky. Who'd be crazy enough to pay a $100 reward to get such a dog back? Would you want that dog back? Maybe. Then the jogger stopped laughing, and a big smile broke over her face. Not a funny smile, but a smile of joy. Stopped to think of it. This may be one of the luckiest dogs in all of town. This lucky dog belonged to a family that loved him no matter what. It didn't matter where he came from or what he looked like. It didn't matter whether he could perform tricks or was getting old and cranky. All that mattered was that he belonged to this family and he was lost. You know, Jesus came into our world to save us because we're lost, right? He left his home in heaven and offered his life as a reward to get us back and reunite us with God's family. It doesn't matter where we come from or what we look like. It doesn't matter whether we're smart and clever, young or old. All that matters is that he created us and wants us part of his family forever. And you know what? That makes us not lucky, but very blessed, right? To have God want us. And that's the reason why we come to church today, to sing and praise and pray to God, our creator. Amen? You can go back to your seats now, children. Thank you.